college football team takes the field with a new head coach this season. Andrew Lynn has more on the Spartans. Spearfish football has a new head coach in Tom Teeton, but the Spartans will pretty much look the same in 2024. Some things that you can expect that will look differently are new faces, of course, some new play designs, but the culture and foundation will all be built upon. Set, go, bang. We had a great thing already, um, and so we're not changing a ton. We're just now able to, we've established a good culture, and so now we can extend that. Teasing is familiar with Spearfish, having spent the last three seasons as an assistant coach under Dalton Wademan. Now reigns in hand, he's adding to the program as he sees fit, and it starts with his captains and works its way down. We're all part of these little teams, and then he just has us compete in those groups and do little fun games and stuff to warm up. Peel, Spearfish's starting left tackle, has been a captain since ninth grade. The age gap never worried the now junior, who continues to be a role model for everyone in and outside of his position group. He had high expectations for everybody, but understood uh, mistakes and gave him compassion. And uh, now he gives freshmen opportunities to lead too. I think it just shows that people aren't afraid to lead on this team. And, you know, it, it is a big role, but... I like, I like taking that on. Player leadership is a mainstay at Spearfish, but when coaches are able to get 14 to 18 year olds to understand their influence on others, that's when they see the switch. They know that their legacy is gonna last longer than their senior year. You know, they're impacting now seventh, eighth grade. They went to the Rams practice and are impacting guys, you know, 10 years from now. Well, the program is staying most of the same. Last year, starting QB Seth Hamilton graduated. His work ethic approach and love for football rubbed off on his replacements. He showed kind of what expectations are for a quarterback as far as effort, time, um, and, and knowing the offense. And so the, the quarterbacks we got now are, are really trying to rise to that challenge. Every day of fall camp when the Spartans break down their huddle, there is mention of getting to the Dakota Dome in November. Of course, it's not a promise, but it is a reminder that if they do everything they need to do, they'll have a chance. Reporting at Spearfish, I'm Andrew Land.